Welcome everyone, this is RP Jimmy, and I'm here with a let's try. We are trying, what is this again? The Witch and the Hundred Knight or something like that. Let's take a look and see this game. I'm probably going to play for about, you know, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes. The Witch and the Hundred Knight Revival Edition. This is from, I guess, 2013 to 2015 somehow? Okay, load game. Load game? Wait, why not new game? There we go. Normal, casual. I guess we're gonna do normal. That's right, this is a let's try, so we all, this is only gonna be a one episode thing. Very rarely would it ever turn into a full series or a full Twitch stream. Where are you? Answer me. Huh? Hee 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 hee. Uh-oh. Found you. Baby, now that I found you, I'll uh -huh. let you go. I'll leave my world around you, huh? Uh Can you understand me now? Who's speaking? He he he. What's the matter? Why so startled? I can't have you be so scared by something trivial like this. Anyway. Let me ask you this again. What is your name? My name is what? My name is who? My name is... Jimmy, but... Wait, what? How do you do this? Select? Wait. Am I do how am I not entering my name right? J. Oh, weird. Okay. I. M. M. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like that's a very, very weird way to enter your name into a game. So that's me, the little guy? <laughs> You're at least that smart, I guess. Different from the typical familiar. Well, if you weren't, this wouldn't have even gotten to this point. I'm going to give you a better name. Oh, I'll thanks. Listen carefully and burn it into your memory. Your new name is... Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go with my old name that I chose. How about that? Hundred Knight sounds good. You are the Hundred Knight. Where do you even come up with that? Okay. That means your name is Hundred Knight. Don't ever forget it. I will f I will forget within the next ten minutes. You understand? Respond with a yes. Regarding self-assertion. Self-assertion can be used to convey the Hundred Knight's will. Four options will display, affirm, deny, question, and ignore. The other person will respond accordingly. Affirm will usually give a positive or upbeat reaction to the question asked. In general, it is a yes statement. Deny will usually give a negative or contrary reaction to the question asked. In general, it is a no statement. Question asks for reconfirmation or shows doubt, rejection, or disagreement. In general, it's kind of a backtalk. And ignore is a non-vocal cue that forces a conversation to end rather than show any particular emotion or feeling. Try to express your will. Tilt the left stick and press the X button to select your response. So I can affirm, or I can ignore. Apparently. I'm gonna quite crack no, I can't do that one. I'm gonna ignore. 
Congratulations, you have now mastered the art of self-assertion. Your self-assertion response will evoke various reactions depending on who is speaking to you, so be aware of that tidbit. Also note that the Hunter Knight is not yet intelligent enough to question or disagree with anyone. What's your problem? You're my problem. Why are you so quiet? Respond. Ignore. What's your problem? Why oh. are you so quiet? But thou must, or as they say in uh, Dragon Quest, you you have Respond. to do it. Fine. Again, I'll forget it within the next 10 minutes. A bit of intelligence is manifested. I'll give you something good as a reward. What is this? <laughs> Acquired a helmet. The Hundred Knight's intelligence level rises several more times. The Hundred Knight can now defend itself. <laughs> Good job. We're almost done here. By the way, that's a special helmet I made just for you. It'll give you a knight's powers and... Thank you? Huh? Something's here. Yes, that's here. <laughs> Worthless interruption. Whatever. We're leaving this place. Learn the little nuances as you fight. Go. And follow my every direction. Don't slack off. Okay. Movement and camera controls. Use the left stick to move. Tilt it slightly to walk and tilt it farther to make the Hundred Knight run. Try to move the Hundred Knight now. Well done, you were able to follow these simple directions like a good minion. Ugh. Next, let's try moving the camera. Use the right stick to move or change the camera's angle. Clicking the right stick, R3 button, will reset the camera's position to face north. Now, move the camera and then reset it. Use the right stick to move the camera and click the right... Okay. Congratulations, you have mastered the concepts of using your right thumb to move the camera. The camera faces north by default, so if you ever feel disoriented from help moving, the camera reset it. Wait, what? Whatever. So where's this person? Oh, there you are. I was just at the lizard. And you were like... Is there another lizard here that I don't know about? Thank you for the trash, I guess. The Hundred Knight equips the Rubbish Sword. It feels very special. Attacking and defending. Press the square button to attack. You can equip multiple weapons. Press the square button to rapidly to perform consecutive attacks. Weapons and armor need to be equipped via the main menu before they can be used. The main menu screen is unavailable right now, so the weapons will be auto-equipped. Hang, uh, hang a right. 
that just means I'm gonna go left. Right. I don't wanna go right. I'm gonna go left. And I'm gonna keep defying you. I mean, look how good I'm doing. Fine, I'll go your direction. To the right. Nope, now I'm gonna go right. I said left, you, idiot. you know what, now I'm just gonna go right even further. you want me to fail. There. That's the switch. What's the hold up? Flip the switch on. I just got here. Switches when NPCs or interactive objects are nearby. A yellow triangle appears that signals your ability to lock onto or target them. This is called the Auto Maker, or Marker. If you target something with the Auto Marker, the target's name will be displayed. If it is a controllable object, control prompts appear. Next, an explanation about switches. Oh my god, now there's a switch tutorial? The switch operates by standing near it and pressing the circle button. Well done, you activated a switch. When you activate switches, doors may open or some kind of change will occur on the field map being explored. Many types of switches exist and they may have different activation methods. This guy's following me. <laughs> Look at this, Hundred Knight. You took your sweet time and now it's cut up. You have to run. Uh oh, it's gonna catch you. You better hurry. Regarding Dish, Dish can be used by holding down the X button. This allows you to sprint through areas, and simply holding the X button down will allow you to automatically dash straight ahead. If you dash while locked on to a target, you will sprint around the target like a very fast shark or something. <laughs> Using the dash function will normally drain your stamina, but this particular use is an exception to dash like crazy. Try dashing now. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Good job. You dash like a true pro. Using the dash function lets you move fast, but you will also lose the ability to move in an agile manner, so be aware of that. Getting a little I'm tired of this, so I'm gonna assume I know what I'm gonna do here. Yeah, what's the lock on feature? By pressing and holding the R1 button, a lock on. I mean, I already beat the enemy, so who cares? If you struggle to kill that weakling, you're worthless. I mean, I didn't struggle at all. It didn't even hit me once. I'm wrong because I feel like this is the same tutorial. By pressing the square button, you will attack using an equipped item. If you're equipped with multiple weapons, repeatedly press the square to execute. Let's explain the lock on function. By pressing and holding R1, you will lock on to a nearby enemy. When, I, when locked on, the target's behavior panel will be displayed. Also, when locked on to a target, the 100 Knight's movement pattern changes to the lock on mode, and it will face only the target. Alright, I gotta try to defeat the enemy while I'm locked on. Okay. Congrats, you beat an enemy while locked on to it. While lock on is active, you cannot move the camera, but there are multiple foes but if there are multiple foes, the right stick will cycle through targets. There's no way you won't turn back to normal with that antidote. I didn't screw it up. You're trying to scheme against me? This is... someone's dream? What? I, I want to stay invested in this game because I want to see what happens when I get out of here. So we're going to go a bit longer. To the right. I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of fighting, so I'm just going to listen to this person now. following me? Hey, it's catching up. You're a slow 
slow one, aren't you? I'm running as fast as I can, like the gingerbread man. Keep going straight ahead. I'll buy you some time. Oh. What? It's like the first thing. Oh, what is this? What is that? A symbol? Or a person that turned into a person from being a symbol? What a, what a weird game this is. Alright, we all, uh, I'm gonna say this, I, I am making this longer. I am a little interested. The village? Regarding the talk function, when you approach friendly NPCs, the talk command will display. Press the circle button to chat with that NPC. Talk to everyone in this village. Oh, great. Okay. Yay, festival time. I love galas. Everyone is in- everyone's in high spirits, but the festival doesn't start in earnest till tomorrow. Since the maiden we are celebrating during tomorrow's festival was chosen from our village, everyone is really excited. Tomorrow's festival is an important time for us to offer our prayers up to our god. The festival tomorrow is celebrating the maiden who was chosen from our village. Isn't that incredible? The entire country is having a festival tomorrow, so we're going to party all night tonight to get in a festive mood. If this festival is truly being hosted across the entire country, the Maiden must be rather busy. Well done, you spoke with everybody. Wow, okay. Well, there's no meaning in dominating a false world. But this place should be more quiet. Think of it as training. Maybe even a tutorial of sorts. Of course. Go, Hundred Knight. Dominate this pathetic fake village. Wait, do I have to fight the people? Regarding raid and visit. Any building with visible doors on the field map can be raided by pressing the triangle button. If you raid a house, the Hundred Knight will pick a fight with the house's resident and will assault them until it wins or is kicked out. If you win, the house has been dominated, allowing you to take the house's family's treasure. But what about the visit function, you ask? 
Simply visiting will result in various things depending on the building being visited. Visiting a house before and after domination will shift the resident's attitudes, making facilities easier to use after dominating them. Turn this what? village full of God's maidens into a witch's withered plague. Can't wait to look upon their frustrated, depressed faces. Alright, so... I'm gonna visit first. Hundred Knight is kicked out by the residents. Now can I do it again? Now let's see if I read what happens. The family treasure weed gum is acquired. Which domination? until you dominate every house in this stupid village. Oh, this is a... Alright. Oh, it goes by levels. Okay. The owner's a cheerful man. Sorry about this. So I thought maybe that their dialogue would change, but I guess not. Not until I actually do all of these houses, maybe, then their attitude like, towards me changes. Whipped dead? are there. Oh, I got cookies. So that was the last house. I just hit the button by accident. That wasn't half bad. You put on a decent enough show. Yeah, now what happens? Oh, this thing's back again. That thing again? A damn pest, huh? That's... What? Is this a distortion? We shouldn't spend too much more time here. The way out will close. Hey, Hundred Knight, run! There's no time left! Hurry! I'll guide the way, so get to the exit! Where's the exit? Oh, well. That went really south real quick. And now you're dead. Me. 
Alright, let's... Can we please just get out of here at this point? I'm going on almost a half hour on this video. Unless this is the only realm that I stay in. Oh, there he is again. An ambush. Quite persistent. It clearly doesn't want to let us go. It's such a small space. Having to fight it is an inevitability. Okay. If I fought it myself, it'd be over in a snap. You're gonna make me do it. That's It wants so bad. All right. Change of plans. Kill that thing, Hundred Knight. No more running away. Accept this battle's inevitability. Anyone who gets in my way is my enemy. Okay. Kill it. Kill it. Use every fiber of your being to do my thing. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to ignore you. Oh, you'll ignore me? Yep. That's quite an attitude you've got. If you want to live much longer. You'll learn to respond when spoken to. Well, whatever. It should be easy enough. Just win. If you want to live, go on. I will witness your strength. Learning boss encounters. The bosses who await at the end of an area have plenty of health stamina and desire to continue living despite Metalia's command. Boss of stamina and health will display at the bottom of the screen. The rapidly shifting blue bar is the boss's guard gauge. Gouge. The less this bar is filled, the lower the boss's guard is at that moment. The gouge constantly shifts in battle, and it tends to drop significantly right before the boss utilizes a powerful attack. You must learn the boss's attack pattern and how to safely dodge their stronger attacks, so remain vigilant or face your doom. There, he's dead. Just as I thought. You struggle to make your own decision. I figured you wouldn't be able to handle such a burden this early. What? Make your escape before it regenerates. I mean, I was no. fine. Over that way, as fast as you can. Make it over there, and I'll do something about our friend. Well, you're gonna put him on fire or something? <laughs> There's no time for fear. <laughs> Get out of my sight! I don't know what that attack was. It looked like a tornado. Hey, this concludes the basic tutorial. We're about a half hour in, so... Alright, let's conclude this in another, you know... Five. Let's see how things look after we get out of here. For like another five minutes or so, like five or ten minutes. Alright, I don't care, I don't care. I'll deal with... I mean, I'm probably not even playing this game ever again, so I don't care about the tutorial. In a world far different from our own, there exists a place called Medea. 
There, in a forest wedged between two nations, where no human or animal dares to tread. Rather, where they cannot tread, lives a lone witch in the swamp of Nibelheim. This witch conducts strange experiments day in and day out, and is feared as the Swamp Witch. None have seen her, and all keep their distance. The reason for this is because the witch cannot leave her precious swamp. Okay. Oh, is that the, um, the witch that we saw? The swamp lies deep in the forest called Woods, where the gods' persecution took place in days long past. Now, that land is protected by the peaceful forest witch. One day long ago, the animals felt a darkness from within the swamp and began to scatter. Okay. This was a sign of the grand incident to come. Right, so where am I going to be now? Get Have you awoken, Sir Hundred Knight? Let us rejoice. You are the first being in 113 years to have visited our small, humble swamp. Or, to be more specific, the very first visitor to our abode. What in the world are you? Uh, uh, my apologies. An introduction is in order. I am called Arlecchino. I serve the Swamp Witch, Master Leah, as her butler and lookout. I am faithful and reliable. Dumbass! The name's not Leah. It's Metalia. Metalia. How many times do I gotta say it? Normally, I dismantle you, grind you up, and use you as fertilizer for my swamp. But I'm in a good mood today. Hmm. But pretend I didn't hear that. I'll also pretend like I didn't hear you call my swamp small. Oh, you heard me, did you? I am pleased to know that your ears are healthy and functional. <laughs> anyway, this is supposed to be the legendary demon, the Hundred Knight. The appearance of a burning phoenix, the size of a mountain, 13 eyes gazing in all directions, and four arms of immense strength. Horsemen flee in terror as its wings ship the very wind. I don't have any of that. A voice that causes earthquakes, spews liquid fire from its crotch and mouth, and a hundred soldiers at its command. <laughs> so what the hell's this tiny thing? The legends were way more than an exaggeration. However, the great witch Utica's witch doctrine stated as much. Uh -huh. I guess this isn't a mistake. This concludes the legendary demon summoning ceremony. It's not over yet, Arlecchino. The final step is to chain its existence to this world. I understand and obey. I shall prepare some slop. Uh, I shall prepare your meal. Yes, indeed. I shall do all in my power to prepare a delicious meal for you. No need for that. You got that gum you picked up the other day? Oh god. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have it right here. Natalia takes the gum from Art Lichino and tosses it right into her mouth. Oh, gross. Even something disgusting like gum found on the ground has its uses. Here, eat it. I am 
certain that Sir Hunterback is too dumb to understand the concept of fine dining. But still, perhaps this is taking it a bit far? Peace have already been chewed gum. Unless it is a stray dog, I don't... What, he loves it? Hundred Knight mindlessly starts to chew the ABC gum. Hunger is a scary thing. It's idiot. Yep, dumb as a bag of hammers. The Hundred Knight's intelligence has gained a level. It can now disagree with and question others. Hundred Knight has become an official inhabitant of this world. Conversation worth a damn, but at least your spirit is rising. What, you mad or something? Then show off your attitude. You can't talk, so you have to make your presence known by what you do. Now, if you're mad because I fed you junk, show it through your attitude. Okay. Question. The hell? Are you being a brat on purpose? Refusing to trust me? That's kind of amusing. Maybe I'll let it slide this time. Indeed. Now all that remains is the contract ceremony, correct? No, the contract's been made. Thank you. I took something important from it before it left that other world. Ah, I see. How very deft of it. Behold how impressed I am. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at that face. You have no idea, do you? Are you curious about what I took, Hundred Let me guess, you're not going to well, tell us. Don't worry about it too much. It was nothing big. Well. something important. Listen up, Hundred Knight. This is the contract torch. The burning flame is fueled by magic. You okay. become securely planted in this world, but without my magic, you'll get stuck in some sort of purgatory. Without the flame, you won't be able to stay here. But you won't be able to go back home. Ever. What was even his home? Get it? As long as that flame is burning, you're free to move about as you wish. Just make sure you do everything I want you to do before it burns out. Oh. That way, the contract will be fulfilled and you can go home. Thank you. <laughs> but first, attack. I'll need some proof that you are, in fact, the legendary Hundred Knight. Okay. What kind of test is this going to be? Night. Look upon my awe-inspiring swamp. The lovely scent of swamp muck in the morning. The treasure trove of mold with the raunchy odor of a hundred-year-old rotting gooey cheese. And this perfect suffocating humidity. It's so nice, isn't it? Getting a whiff of this energizes me from head to toe. Wow, you must you really love your swamp. I wish to drown the world in such swampy glory. That's my ultimate wish. I wish to drown this pitiable world under a wave of swamp mud. That is my destiny. Once the sewer we call this world overflows with swamp mud, your deed is done, and you will be set free. Okay. <laughs> In other words, your duty is to coat the world with swamps. Did you understand all of that, Sir Hundred Knight? Yes. This type of swamp kills all manner of living things. It's a poisonous, uh, safe and refreshing swamp. Yeah. Does it look like the swamp's dried up a little? No. I am inclined to believe it's just your imagination. That lengthy summon. Listen to this song in the background. Start your test. 
Oh, is it just fighting? Your task is to go to the nearby forest and destroy the annoying pillar there. Allow me to intercede. Pillars are types of organic pillars that exist all over the world. I have no idea who named it, but the Pillar of Temperance is this particular one's official name. Okay, so shall be your I guess that's your ultimate ga hole in the game is destroy uh, X amount of pillars. I mean, for the legendary hundred knight. If you fail at this, you're as useless as a piece of rotted old furniture. If you fail at this, I apologize, but you will be tossed in the dumpster. Yes. You'll find the pillar. Well, it stands out. You'll see it. Anyway, I don't feel like explaining anything else. Go for it, Arla Chief. As you command, Master. Metallia! What a weird song in the background. Pass this test and meet my expectations. All right, and I think with that in mind, we're going to call it a video. Chapter one: The Witch and Her Nemesis. Follow me on Twitch, uh, official RP Jimmy. Allow me to explain further. And yeah, we're going to cut it off here. Later, everyone.